world, welcome back to The Comet. It's Wednesday, November 29th, and in consumer protection news here at home, Mick Mulvaney has been approved for now as active director of the U.S. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Mulvaney is an advocate for blockchain, co-founding the first bipartisan Congressional Blockchain Caucus, now the Watchdog Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which was created during the Obama administration in response to the subprime mortgage financial crisis, will be headed by Mulvaney, and for that, it may be better informed on matters relating to blockchain technology. This might be good news for those on the sidelines waiting for formal, formal digital currency frameworks. The Bank of Mexico is taking a new approach to cryptocurrency. Its general director, Alan Elizondo, spoke about a proposed law that would have banks store and operate Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. That way, he believes the Bank of Mexico will be better able to protect consumers and regulate the industry. This is a different approach from that announced by Deputy Governor of the Bank of England, John Cunliffe. He says that cryptocurrencies are not at a size where they could pose a risk to the global economy. Warning consumers to be careful, he said, quote, I would say investors kind of need to do their homework, end quote. Imagine that, a world where you could do what you want with your own money. All right, let's play a little game. What's the first thing that pops into your mind when I say cryptocurrency? Obviously pop music, right? Well, recently pop music icon Katy Perry sat down with the Warren Buffett and asked him about his thoughts on cryptocurrency. She said their little chat was, quote, no big deal, but her sarcastic tone leads me to believe that she's fangirling on one of the world's richest men, even though she spelled his name wrong in her post calling him Warren Buffett. It's Buffett, by the way. Either way, we don't know what Buffett said to Katie, but as recently as October, he has said that, quote, you can't value Bitcoin because it's not a value producing asset, end quote. He added it was a real bubble and it's a mirage, basically. I wonder if his tone has changed recently with Bitcoin reaching an all-time high of 11,000 and Ethereum reaching 500. I know people who disagree with Buffett must be singing, I bought crypto and I liked it. Yeah. Well, that's our comment for the day. Go ahead and leave us your comments on today's episode and check us back here tomorrow as we catch you up on the latest. Join me on the comments every weekday as I catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all the newest episodes of the comment. If you missed our latest episodes, you can catch up all right here and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at NewthEasy. That's at ETHNewsSci.